It's my time to get quiet. I had some quiet time earlier this morning in my meditation outside, and then it got really, really hurried. And I just love this time. I just love when I come into this sanctuary, when it's time to start. I love that I can just cross that line and somehow everything whew, calms down. And so I invite you to have that same experience right now. This is your time to just calm down, breathe. There is nothing you need to do for the next 50 minutes. Nothing. There's no text you have to answer. So if you have your phone with you, check it. I advise putting it on airplane mode so you don't even get the vibrations. Give yourself that treat. Everything will be okay for 50 minutes. It really will. And remember, you can't meditate wrong. You cannot do it wrong. So no, nice try giving that an excuse. It's just about getting quiet. So let's take a nice easy breath in. And then let go. And now I want you to breathe in the daily word today. Guidance. Breathe guidance in. Doesn't that feel like support? Guidance. Breathe that into your soul. And then let go of anything that's going to tell you different. And remember, the ego does not like us to get quiet. It does not like this time in the service. It wants to keep chattering to you about things that either happened or things in the future. It does not like the present moment. Because in the present moment, there's peace. So if that voice starts to talk to you about stuff, just send it to its room and tell it you'll pick it back up about 12.15. So just go to your room and I'll talk to you later. Right now, you have no power over me, ego. No. This is my time. So I want you to, as always, I encourage you to go to a place in your imagination where you feel safe. And for many of you, it is the same place every Sunday because we have created an awesome place to go quickly, quickly to just be. So whether it's a chair inside or outside, in a field of flowers, or maybe sitting outside your home or your camper or your property that some people have getaway places that they go to, or imagine yourself at the ocean, or at a body of water where you can just resonate with the peaceful, still water. There's nothing you need to figure out right now. Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity, used to call this time going to headquarters. And he didn't say a word. He just listened to what headquarters wanted to tell him. So if you have some heavy things on your heart right now, maybe there wasn't a pleasant conversation this morning with someone, or maybe there's the problems, the perceived troubles in the world, and I use the word perceived troubles in the world, and they've got you hooked. Or maybe it's with your children or your grandchildren or oh, just things aren't going right at work or at home or 
this is your time to, it's okay to acknowledge it. It's okay to acknowledge it because that's how we acknowledge it and then we let it go down the stream. So just take a little inventory of some things that are just prickling you a little bit or maybe they're really poking you a lot. Pokes and pricks all hurt, don't they? So just acknowledge them and then just imagine letting them go down the stream for now. You can pick it back up after the service is done today, but just allow to acknowledge it. Thank you for sharing. I'll get to you later. Thank you for sharing. I'll get to you later. How does that feel? Just giving it acknowledgement and sending it on down the water. And so as you start to clear those thoughts that are coming to you, as you start to clear them out of your imagination, your third eye, where we see clearly, we don't always see clearly with our two visual physical eyes, but with our third eye, that's where clarity resides, clarity and peace. So now I'd like you to think about what has gone right for you this morning. Something's gone right because you're here. Something's gone right because you woke up, got up, and suited up, and showed up. The cute you that you are. What else has gone right in your world over the last 24 hours? Despite those things that came to your mind before, we're letting those pass down the stream. We're focused now on the things that went right in the last 24 hours in your life. And now can you find some things that went right for you this week. Like a whole seven days, can you find something or some things that went right in your world? So just remain in the quiet, in the silence of your mind right now. And keep bringing into your mind some things that have gone right this week. Or someone you met this week that was kind. Someone that smiled at you. Have you taken a moment in gratitude for the world and for our area right here, our tri-state area of the beautiful weekend weather we've had? Have you given gratitude for that? For the 
breeze that's been happening out there. Just a beautiful breeze being able to open windows. The beautiful blue sky and the clouds of white. There's so much to be grateful for. As we start to bring our meditation to a close and we get to hear another beautiful song by Marcy. What a wonderful world this is when we take time to be grateful for just those little things.